Hi everyone, it's Christy Funk from ChristyFunk.com and today we're going to talk about lost souls and what it means to feel lost and to feel stuck and like you're not connected, you're, things aren't going easy for you and it's a constant struggle. And I was reading about this and I was just wondering in my own life, the last vlog that I did was on getting really honest with yourself and I wanted to to just get in there and look at my journals and really understand who I've become in the last 20 years and who I've become in the last five or even in the last year. And all of our paths are different. So there's no judgment. It's just some get there quicker, some it takes a lifetime. And basically when you are a lost soul, there is no connection to spirit. There's no connection to something greater than yourself. The, this vast universe, there's no connection to God or spirituality or that higher consciousness because when you are lost, you're not understanding what your purpose is in life. You're not understanding what you're putting here, what you're put here on earth to do. We are spiritual beings in human bodies. And when you're lost, you're just staying in that human shell of a body and you're operating from, from survival. You're operating from the ego. You're doing everything to feed the ego instead of understanding your spiritual alignment with, with this universe. And you stay in that survival stage. So you're down in the lower grounds of your energy field instead of the higher realms of um, pure potential and, and um, where anything's possible and this alignment with spirit. So it's like this beautiful dance and harmonious dance of like, okay, I get it. I get it why I'm here. So when you're lost, you're just, you're blocked from your intuition. You're blocked from understanding or tuning in to what God spirit universe wants you to do is guiding you to do. So you're blocked from any of that intuition and there's no harmonious dance. It's all struggle, struggle, struggle. And of course, some of us lost souls. Um, there may have been trauma. There may have been something catastrophic that happened that just kind of snapped you from being this light spirit into something that was, he was heavier. And so looking in my journals, I was looking along my path and understanding, wow, I was really not understanding what I was here um, to do on this planet. So I wasn't understanding what my purpose was and everything was a struggle. School, my car would break down, any type of relationships, whether it was like boyfriend relationships or my family, I it was very dark and it was very heavy. Everything energetically was very heavy in my journal entries. Like, why am I here? And it was very catastrophic. So a lot of the emotions that go with feeling lost is anger and resentment and struggle and sadness and depression. And, and you're just struggling to try and burst out of this and you don't know how. Um, there is, n all the choices are not made on universal love. So there's not going to be any choices made on self-love. And self-love, like you know, that I promote so much, self-love is everything. If we don't have self-love, how can we give love properly to those around us? So self-love is self-care, self-preservation. It's not being selfish. It's about really taking care of ourselves so that we can show up in the world. Somebody that's lost is in survival mode and and is just basically looking at everything as a challenge that comes towards them. They are not looking at it as potential gifts for um, learning. And I know this because I went through this. So I'm not just talking about they, the lost souls out there, because I definitely felt very much lost in periods of my life. Um, and so there was just no confidence in the guidance of God and the universe and the spirit. So there's no intuition into understanding what choices to make. So if you're making choices based on um, survival, then you're going to make choices that are just going to numb and distract you from the more intimate relationship you have with yourself. So you'll be making things that are a quick fix or numbing, whether it's sex, drugs, rock and roll, whatever that is, but you still get back to the place where you feel empty and lost. 
So say if you decide to have a wild night on the town, well, it may feel good at that moment and you feel like you're feeding something and you're getting this high and then afterwards you're crushed because you're, you're still left alone with your soul. And if your soul is lost, you just have this, this downer. If you make choices based on really self-love and self-preservation and universal love, you're going to do things that are going to elevate your frequency and your vibration. And you won't do things where you're going to feel this letdown from a high. So I found as I really started embracing my health and taking care of my physical body that my frequency went up and of course surrounding myself with other things. And I've, I've done vlogs on um, raising your vibration, so make sure you take a look at that. So a lost soul really is just radiating from lower vib vibrational energy and you um, tend to be really defensive, always being right. Um, very close-minded, there's no, you, you, you look at everything as very black and white, whereas somebody that is on purpose is going to look at a solution to everything. And um, making the same mistakes over and over, oh my gosh, I did this so much, I kept making the same mistakes. It was like I was married to the um, comfort and pain of my mistakes, and Kate keep, I kept doing that. So someone that's lost is just not learning from the first one. It has to go the second round, third round, fourth round, fifth round, and and it's all, all almost like this an addiction attachment to those um, those patterns in life, and they are distracting themselves. Like I said, from that intimate relationship with myself, because for me it was all on the outside. It was all they're doing that to me. That's happening to me from the outside. The circumstances I wasn't taking accountability for my own actions and I felt very lost even though I was practicing some spiritual things and I was doing yoga and I was chanting and reading all the right things and and trying different um, different spiritual practice even I came from a Catholic background um, going back and forth to the church but it none of that was really clicking because I just kept myself in that lower frequency um, and so this is just really an opening into understanding why you might feel lost and that you're not alone I've gone through it I've known people that have gone through it I've met people and I've seen that kind of pattern and just take a look and see of you know like where you are in your life if you understand your purpose and you don't have to understand it right away you just have to be in that awareness of get, getting, you have the choice and the capability of getting out of that place in your life where you're just kind of not feeling connected and not feeling um, like there's any purpose to your life. And I can guarantee you there's a purpose for every single person on this planet. And once you get into that space, it's just so, it's so relieving. And so I just... Um, wish you the best of luck on your journey and just to take a look at how you may be feeling lost and once you make the decision to get out of that space how your life is going to be so much richer and you won't feel like you're getting you're stuck at every roadblock so the world is just amazing and I I send you many many blessings and don't forget to visit me on Christy Funka on Facebook Visit me at christyfunk.com and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Peace and blessings.